Well, folks, a nuke just went out in the YouTube scene. Everybody's talking about it. And soon enough, the floodgates are going to open and more and more people are going to talk about it because a nuke just went out. We got Asmund Gold talking about it. We got Moist Critical, Penguin Z, aka Charlie, talking about it because a massive sin was committed. And no, guys, I'm not talking about Johnny Sins. Right? Come on, guys. Like, this sin is bigger than all the sins combined of Johnny Sins himself, all right? Mankind was specifically told to stay away from committing this sin and this sin allegedly was committed by SS Sniper Wolf aka Sniper Wolf right so we're gonna talk about it we got our culprit we got our victim the victim just made a video so it's actually heartbreaking so this situation is unfolding and the most insane part here the most insane part here is that we got over culprit responding as well oh, so yeah get ready for a plot twist here guys let's go for two likes on the video like the video if you love your mama roll it is she doing it again this can't be true i i no i won't no there's Wait no way it. i don't have a script written for this video i'm just really freaking out right now and i just need to come on here and say everything that okay. i can as soon as i can so if i stutter or anything like that or can't get my words out um that is why today i okay. logged onto my youtube account mm -hmm. to change the thumbnail of one of my videos and i was met with something very shocking i actually Ooh. have received a strike on my channel now at first no. i'm really confused because i haven't done anything wrong honestly when now I two people to the to the viewers out there right this is an equivalent of taking your gun and shooting a man this is an equivalent of that. You don't believe me? Wait for it. Like, we'll, we'll explain rationally, and I will try to carefully bring all the studies, and uh, I will bring, like, some scholars up in a, in a second. Wait for it. We'll, we'll actually change your mind in a second, okay? Right. first received this news, I thought maybe I got struck for one of my older, edgier videos. But upon further inspection, it turns out that I actually received a copyright strike from Sniper Wolf. She took down one of my videos called Watching Sniper Wolf Until I Laugh. Now, this was a three-hour long... And, and he didn't laugh? Man, you should have laughed, bro, like, and then she wouldn't, but uh, she has responded. I want to show you that. Wait for it. <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, man. Video where I watched most of Sniper Wolf's content and the premise was yeah. she's not funny. So uh, I'm just going to like stay there and not laugh pretty much. It was just like right. a simple joke and nothing was intended to harm <laughs> anyone and everybody understood it was a joke. Now this video yeah, has been out yeah. for like eight months. Uh, no, I, I guess uh, that's wrong to say everybody understood that joke because uh, she clearly did not understand the joke. That's why she striked you. You feel what I'm saying? And there have never been any problems with it. I wasn't copyright claimed or yeah. struck or anything for all that period of time. And yeah, now yeah, yeah, out yeah. of nowhere, she just decided to strike this video because I guess she was upset about it or something. And this is completely unjust because as you all know, Sniper Wolf doesn't do any transformative content at all really. She's a react channel. Sniper Wolf is notorious for stealing other people's videos and not crediting the original creators at all. So it makes absolutely no sense that she would take down one of my- Yeah, people got really mad about that. They were fucking <laughs> furious because apparently like, you know, usually we'll credit the channel and, you know, promote yeah, the channel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. then, uh, <laughs> apparently she doesn't even do that. He yeah, reacting to her now because she's such a large creator. There's not really anything I can do. She has a lot, and, of and people are also bringing this up because uh, right now I, I I need to actually cover the news. Okay, like take it for whatever that is. Okay, like if you want to believe it, believe it. If you don't want to believe it, don't believe it. Get ready for the climax here as we get down to the story. But a quick little plot twist. Okay, oh, shit. uh oh, a quick little plot twist. So Sniper Wolf just came out and responded. I want to clarify that I did not strike anyone's video. I do not have any pending takedown notices i believe someone else must have done it on my behalf uh that's what uh she responded to most critical right uh, okay and then she shows her studio of all the people she has struck all the videos she has struck <laughs> That is crazy. So, yeah, uh, guys, to understand this, right? On YouTube, if you get 3 strikes, so like 1 2 3 right a man can die a channel can literally die on Bruh. youtube so uh, yeah so look at that she has taken a lot of shots uh, and she has like strike copy strike a lot of channels a lot of videos in the past and she has committed the, the, the one of those sins that man was specifically told not to commit and i know some of you guys are gonna be like uh, try to be a smart ass and be like oh uh, well excuse me like uh, uh, she's not a man she's a female so she can get uh, away with it Guys, come on, man. The rule applies to both genders here, okay? Like, seriously, okay? But, 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 here's the thing, though. If, if this is to be believed, it looks like that she did not strike uh, the orange onion. Uh, the giant onion, my bad. Uh, yeah, because uh, he was striked, I believe, on June 27th. And the last video that she struck was on June the 14th, a year ago. So maybe she's uh, changed. Maybe she changed. Maybe, I, I don't know.
I don't know. power and i don't really have any power over youtube or anything like that i'm just a pretty small creator i may have a yeah. lot of subscribers to some of you guys but i'm nothing in comparison to these facts, huge facts. creators this yeah, channel facts. is my life yeah thanks uh, like, he has closer to 1 million subs so what about me man you, you feel what i'm saying like nothing i i hear him though i feel him though i really feel him though yay like i'm nothing as well on youtube though yay absolutely i feel him though and asman gold is like uh also like yeah he's uh just uh playing with his beard right now because he knows i've said dozens of times that i wouldn't be here today if i didn't have this channel and i seriously mean that this is my only source of income and this is my dream job and i love it and the community i have here is literally the only thing i have and i just want to keep making videos on here that people enjoy watching but right now my literal job is being threatened by mm. sniper wolf of all people to the people watching if there's anything you guys know of that how can you be a react channel and then strike other people for reacting to your video come on it would help or anything like that it would really be come appreciated on, if you bro. guys could just do everything in your power to um to help yeah. me and support me whether that be just liking the video commenting or even reaching out to one of the bigger creators to to help and get their support like jack's films for example uh charlie anyone it would really help a lot because Man. like i said I, I really don't have a lot of power on youtube um and yeah moist critical just made a video on it which i uh, will check it out but here's the thing though so she's responding that uh, she did not strike him I, it seems believable but the reason people are not believing this story is, is because she, how many people she struck in the past right she uh, also doxed somebody if i'm not mistaken and youtube did demonetize her but guess what they demonetize her for like a day that's what the internet is saying and i remember that youtube if i'm not mistaken like literally youtube did demonetize her for like a weekend for an entire weekend but still you feel what i'm saying like doctor disrespect stories are also floating around but that's like a different story altogether though it's not like same as this but you feel what i'm saying like youtube would literally demonetize all of the, the entire channel uh indefinitely but she just got like a like a kiss on the cheek uh, by youtube and be like yeah don't, don't do that again sweetie don't do that again do not dox people you uh, and uh, w what we're learning is that she's probably a changed person I, I i don't know i don't know but wait for it and these big creators have so much more power than me and there's really just nothing i can do in this situation and it's, it's just a really shitty situation to be in to everyone who is watching thank you for making it this far and i'll do everything i can to keep uploading um it's just uh i might have to take a back seat for a while because right now i'm, I'm really scared and my job is being threatened charlie yeah, he is totally fucking right. Uh, I, I think that her striking it is fucking ridiculous. And I yeah. think the only reason why she's striking it is because it makes her it makes her look bad, which means that and, and I think this makes it a lot worse. Right. Because what, what we're really saying here is that the problem is not necessarily that people are reacting to my content. It's that you are reacting to my content and making me look bad. And there is a separate thing that you can report a video for. You can report a video for bullying, right? You can report a video for harassment. So if you feel like the video is harassing you or the video is bullying you, then you can report that to, to as I was gonna say, Blizzard, uh, to YouTube, and YouTube will probably ignore it, but there's a chance that they won't. You know what I yeah. think is fucking funny? Is the Probably. fact that she's even able to do this? So, time. so, so she took the probabilities into account. Allegedly, allegedly, she's claiming that she did not strike it, and I want to be fair, okay? As much as people don't like her, or as much as people love her, uh, I, I want to be fair. I want to present you both sides because I saw her response, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna include it in because this drama, yeah, like if this is true, like she committed a very big sin. This is bigger than all the sins, like I said, bigger than all the sins uh, that have been committed by Johnny Sins himself. Like this is big, the guys, yeah. Like uh, oh. You you don't believe me three strikes and a man channel can be destroyed so he got shot once Th this is what happened to him you shot the man right now and he's two shots away from permanently dying on youtube though you feel what i'm saying that that yeah it's big folks it, it is big it is big. he's bleeding and out i think right it's now. a disgrace if i was youtube i don't know if i would have ever unbanned her and i think that they probably made a mistake by not banning her <laughs> because I could see somebody suing YouTube in the future because somebody harasses them in real life and then using them example that like the precedent of YouTube not banning Sniper Wolf whenever she docks that one guy and went to his house. Like literally, like, you know, confronted him at his house, tried to confirm himself. That's crazy. Especially like I mean, she has a criminal record and everything like that. Like I wouldn't want to deal with somebody like that. Fuck that. And Damn. so like that's 
such a bad point on a graph to uh, make. Yo, what was that uh, criminal record for? Uh, I I don't know about it. I I think I know, but I don't I don't think I know. I don't know the details, so I don't wanna I don't wanna say it. But I I, I remember like she she has a photo for mugshot, right? Like yeah, that that's the only thing I remember. And the craziest thing here is that she's an ex Call of Duty YouTuber though. Oh shit! Man, I swear to God, man, it feels like that everybody that started YouTube was at one point uh, was a call of duty youtuber specifically when black ops 2 yeah she blew up around black ops 2 right i remember i remember yeah i was uh, i remember that i also started around that time uh, but but yeah it, it's crazy bro it, it is crazy everybody was uh, like a call of duty youtuber initially if you're a company that wants to avoid liability right she's a criminal she is and uh i think what's so uh, like when like for sniper wolf legit no no it is it's legit um for sniper wolf to do this specifically i think it is it is the pinnacle of hypocrisy right because not only she is it a react well, yeah. channel right yeah, which yeah, i mean yeah. we're doing a react channel we're doing it right now yeah i don't dislike uh, same here but but like yeah and yeah 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 react channels but when somebody right which i mean we're doing a react channel we're doing it right now i don't dislike react channels but when somebody reacts to my video I'm not going to cry about it and, and get mad. And if I am, I'll report it for harassment. I'll report it for something else, right? Like, not fucking copyright strike. That's not the problem. That's not what's happening. It sounds fitting, yes. And so what ends up happening is, so you have somebody. Let's take a step back here. You have somebody who literally doxed and went to a person's house. Yeah. She shouldn't even be on the platform to DMCA him in the first place. Yeah, YouTube demonetized her, if I'm not mistaken, for like a weekend, right? And be like, yeah, boo-boo, come back uh, a, we uh, a week later, a week later. And she took like a week off. I believe she went to vacay as well. So yeah, like, it was a good But if a man was to commit the same sin, he would have been permanently banned though. Listen, I'm not saying like, yeah, uh, he's saying get rid of her, absolutely. And that's his opinion, that's his opinion. What I'm saying is that I don't want to see like anybody be a uh, deep platform unless they did something massive and something very very bad. And I guess uh, she uh, she has done that. But, uh, all I'm saying here is that bro, the rules should be equal for both. Though that's all uh, that's all what I'm saying right now. The rules should be equal for both men and women. The fact that she's a woman uh, only got demonetized for like a weekend. I, I remember, yeah. So she was demonetized for uh, a very limited period of time whether that was a day or a weekend uh, my memory is uh, foggier than snoop dogg's bathroom right now so i don't remember if it was a day or a weekend i think it was a weekend but some people are were, were saying that it was a day the internet also exaggerates let's be real that's how memes are that's why memes hit different i get that part but but you feel what i'm saying right regardless whether it was a day or a weekend the rules need to be same for men and women on youtube bruh like and, and equal for everybody bro like come on man like you know what i'm saying like like this the video should have if you never agree. even happened. Like the video if you agree. It's crazy. Wait yeah, I didn't it? even know about this. I, I I literally just found out about this fucking ten minutes ago, five minutes ago. The the guy escalated the, that guy escalated the issue though. No, he didn't. But because he made critical videos about her. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, he did not laugh at her videos. And now let's actually get into the most critical. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna change the ambiance here. Looks like a GTA 6 uh, mission, but it happened though. Big three. The Manny Show tech lead. And Sniper Wolf. Yep, she took her lack of talent right to the YouTube headquarters here to strike a channel because it hurt her feelings. So the channel that received the strike is One Giant Onion. This is actually a very big channel, and what the video was was One Giant Onion did a watching Sniper Wolf's content until I laugh challenge, and it was like a three-hour video. And the joke was she doesn't make him laugh, so it was a long video going through her content and reacting to it. Now, technically, you could argue One Giant Onion was. And, and you forgot he did not laugh. That's the main issue. That's the main issue why he got shot down though. The wrong because he took three hours worth of her content and didn't transform it. He just sat there not giving a ton of input and definitely not laughing at it because that was the joke. Sniper Wolf doesn't make anyone laugh, thus this was a three hour video with no one having any fun. However, Sniper Wolf doesn't own her own content either. She steals it. She doesn't have the right to that content that she's reacting to in the first place. Thus, she shouldn't be able to strike one giant onion for reacting to that content. Mm. Like, she owns her reactions, but that's like 5% of that three-hour video because she doesn't add fucking anything to the <laughs> videos that she posts. It's just the uninterrupted content that she steals from others. She 
is literally a content thief. Jax Films has a whole series breaking that down. I don't need to get into the nitty gritty of it. But she just copyright struck one giant onion for content she herself doesn't even actually own. Today, I logged onto my YouTube account to it. change the thumbnail of one of my videos, and I was met with something very yeah, shocking. Just I actually have received a strike on my channel. Now, at first, I was really confused because I haven't done anything wrong. Honestly, when I first received this news, I thought maybe I got struck for one of my older, edgier videos. But upon further inspection, it turns out that I actually received a copyright strike from Sniper Wolf. She took down one of my videos called Watching Sniper Wolf Until I Laugh. Now, this was a three hour long video where I watched most of Sniper Wolf's content, and the premise was she's not funny, so uh, I'm just gonna like stay there and not laugh pretty much. Her content would not fit under a transformative argument under any circumstances. Fucking Saul Goodman wouldn't be able to make that argument argument in court on her behalf because usually she just plays the entire TikTok that she's reacting to with no input and then maybe afterwards says geez zoinks can you believe that <laughs> that's it that's not transformative work and it's just taking everyone else's content that she showcases and she historically hasn't given credit she doesn't compensate the creators whose work she takes and then she has the chutzpah to strike one giant onion for reacting to her content it's craziness that's the most that is the epitome of hypocrisy i have said dozens of times that i wouldn't be here today if i didn't have this channel and i seriously mean that this is my only source yeah. of income and this is my dream job and i love it and the community i have here is literally the only thing i have and i just want to keep making videos on here that people you gotta diversify man you gotta like put your eggs in like uh like start like uh putting eggs in different baskets too bro i i, I but i feel him though i feel him man i feel him like uh the rules need to be same for both men man and woman bro like this this is crazy y'all this is crazy what what y'all be doing right now uh yeah most critical i'm glad that he's making a video on it but i also do want to whether you want to believe it or not but you know i want to be fair here i want to talk about it she claims that she did not and it very well could be true i think it's true but but see the thing is that she could have asked somebody else to strike the video on her behalf or somebody might be impersonating her and striking uh impersonating as her this has happened in the in the past as well it, it's it's not as normal but you know sometimes things can slip through and it can happen where uh you know somebody else can impersonate you and strike uh videos on your behalf doesn't happen it's not that normal but it, it can sometimes happen so uh maybe that that's what it is but uh, yeah uh, we don't know but but the thing is that like i'm not sure why this one is hidden though so is this a screenshot from giant onion video where this is uh hidden or he took uh, she took a screenshot and just purposely hid the email herself because if she hid the email then yeah you know what i mean right then i would say like she's guilty but if giant onion is uh uh, like you know what I'm saying like hiding the email then um, I, I want him to actually reveal like who uh, uh, where the strike came from yeah you film say because yeah that, that can th this is an important key to the entire uh, situation here man enjoy watching but right now my literal job is being threatened by sniper wolf of all people he's not exaggerating when he says that his job like his whole livelihood is being threatened by sniper wolf in the strike a he strike is a huge deal like it yeah. cannot be understated just how serious a strike is on a youtube channel and being able to uh, li like i said bro like he got shot he got shot once right now so he's like two shot away from dying on, on youtube yeah bro like three shots bro so one shot does uh, approximately 33 percent of damage and you just need two more shots uh, and effectively that's it you're gonzo you're sent to YouTube heaven after that make a living off of the internet content that you create is actually a dream job for the majority of people in the world and as I've said hundreds of times it boils down to getting lucky most of the time it's like winning the fucking lottery having some kind of successful online career that you can support yourself with so when you get a strike that threatens that that's obviously extremely scary especially when you're someone like one giant onion who really didn't do anything wrong sniper wolf should not have copyright struck him for reacting to her content, which isn't even really her content in the first place. And Sniper yeah. Wolf has been on the platform for so long now, she knows just how special it is to be a content creator and how much a strike hurts that. Like, yeah. the kind of toll that takes. And yet, she still went through with that. That is so fucking sad. That is heartless. It just, it is heartless. It's not like she's some kind of corporate suit that doesn't really understand the YouTube ecosystem. She's been here for so long, she knows that a strike is like punching someone right in the fucking teeth. Like, it is brutal and she still oh, went through I, I would say like it's even more than that it's like shooting a man right like of course i'm exaggerating though but my guys come on man like it, it is it is it is crazy it is crazy and, and the funniest thing to me is that youtube just demonetized her because uh, like she in the past of course uh, she just uh, revealed herself like how many <laughs> how many videos uh, she uh, sent to youtube heaven right uh, and in the past she has doxed people so 
it, it's like you, YouTube demonetized her for like a day or a weekend. I mean, holy crap, bro. What are we talking, man? Um, sometimes I be thinking too, bro. Sometimes I be thinking I was the uh, I was on the other side getting my ass cheeks clapped. Okay. <laughs> not literally. That's a joke, guys. That's a, that's a joke. That's a joke. I'm not. I'm not depressed. Uh, I'm. I, I'm not looking to. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not looking to change my gender or anything like that. But sometimes I be thinking too, man. Like, damn, homie. Like, if I was a girl, like I would have like five million subs all of you would be like sims of mine all of you would be like dropping like hey here you go skizzle skizzle axie you know i would be skizzle axie at that point like all of you would be dropping like dollar dollar bills you would be making that rain you feel what i'm saying like i would have my only fans uh you guys would be sims of mine you guys would be like donating you guys would be like uh only my only fans uh exclusive premium subscribers and all that right you feel what i'm saying right like damn homie like it, it's kind of it's kind of yeah being a man it's kind of hard right now man like damn homie with it like the video if you feel me on that one because his video hurt her feelings i suppose yes reacting to three hours worth of her content was probably not the best idea but it should have never resulted in a strike to his channel because she is literally doing what he does but broken up over the course of years and like six videos a week doing it as opposed to yeah. one three hour video on yeah he worked harder to put uh, put that one video together yeah like <laughs> yeah man. but guys Recently, this is what they have done to PewDiePie though. Yeah, PewDiePie's in the news as well. Not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Because yeah, new update on Dr. Disrespect story as well. Just came out. 